So just to go around the room, we've got Deborah, Devin, Sarah, Nicole, Christina, Jillian, Isabella, and Julia. So awesome. Well, what's my name? Well, what's my so what's the project? Give us the pitch. And then what is it? What's your uh, the problem you're solving? And then the solution that you, you're going to bring to market? Um, what I decided to do is basically create a nonprofit meant or aim to help homeless women in the U.S. Um, with menstruation. In terms of competition, of course there's competitors, but there's no real website that has the kind of information that would be understandable for a child because of We have one lovely who is uh, traveling in the storm and we've got a great, awesome class today. Um, I really liked learning about the bios and the biographies. Um, I thought that was really fun and like it's a good way to like show how you can like stand out. Maybe I can meet you in the morning. For the next 10 weeks, this is going to be the picture that we're going to fill in these boxes so that you actually, in the end, you have a business plan and a concept, okay? I can't feel anything at all. So let's get started with the um, bring backs and let's just go around the room really quickly um, and let's talk about who your favorite entrepreneur was. Who wants to get started? How would you feel if I opened your bring back, Julia? Uh, that's fine. Oh, I would die for you. Um, so I created two. Um, so the first one is a girl, she's 15. Um, her name is Abby Socks. Um, so I created her because she's a student and I thought she would be like the most realistic. And Can you guys see Jody's uh, org chart here? I figured that my direct advisory board would be focused on three main parts of the website. Uh, the money management, which is the finance executive. And underneath that, there's, you know, people that manage the income. Like I realized that like I was a little short on um, like on my revenue in comparison to like my expenses, so I thought that that was a way to like kind of like find the break even. I think so. Wow, wow. The last thing we're gonna do is Jennifer's money lesson. Okay, I don't know if you guys know, but I have been on like every show out there talking about money and we wanna weave it in because your mom and dads will be glad and so will hopefully our corporate uh, partners and folks. So, so what happens when you buy something you can't afford? Very likely that you'll be able, you'll be unable to pay it back, which mm -hmm. means you'll get interest on how much you have to pay back, which means you'll just have to pay back more than how much. Um, like MVP product is like, um, a bracelet that has like a built-in QR code that you could scan. I thought MVP only stood for most valuable player, but now I know it's minimum viable product. So, a vision. How many of you have a vision for your businesses? I do. You do? What's your vision, Jada? I just want... I want a beautiful building, and I, I, I would still love to incorporate all the activities from the original same building, and I just really want it to be like a really popular thing. Since it also like motivates you to participate more, because you are paying like monthly or weekly. Yeah, she kind of hit on it. So Nicole, tell us why, why, what made you go to that membership idea? What sort of stood out for you? I, um, like, what did you guys think of this exercise, first of all? Was it, did it feel complicated to you or did you like that it was kind of- I really liked it <clears throat> and the personas and stuff, especially for my design because when designing my sprints, there are three kinds. Of Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Um, and we're starting to do one-on-ones. Those are going great. We're gonna be able to create something that was gonna have like so much of an impact. And now that I have, um, 
I'm like really proud of myself. I am too.